Hello, world. I, uh, I decided to make a video after a, a funny thought popped in my head. Flat Earth versus Veganism. Which one is harder for people to accept? Now. instinctually because of the programming you're kind of figure flat earth would be more of a a sticking point for people when in reality I, my opinion is it's veganism um i can see people are catching on to the flat earth reality they're starting to get it we're asking questions and actually being scientific that's wonderful you know that's great um, now branching from that you take a subject like veganism and you just get I feel like you get more resistance to that ideology than flat earth people are starting to get flat earth a lot of people aren't really getting veganism now I haven't always been a vegan like uh, a lot of us raised on meat. I remember as a kid I didn't like eating meat I despised it but it's the most socially acceptable sin on earth and everyone does it socially like the majority of people eat meat in some form or another so you kind of force it on your kids your kids force it on their kids and goes on and on <clears throat> about four years ago I became a pescatarian which is basically a vegetarian that eats seafood and I figured since I didn't eat other mammals that it was okay. I mean, it was natural. I didn't, like, sit down and, you know, scratch my head and, like, oh, I'm not going to do this. It was, like, really natural. Like, I didn't plan it out. It just happened. I can even remember the last steak I had. Um, but anyways... There's just so much resistance to it, and people have all these preconceived notions about vegans, like, like we're militant and we're holier than thou attitudes. And for me, I'm not like that personally. I try not to be like that. Um, I understand people. You can talk till you're blue in the face. People will continue doing what they're doing. You know, you put facts out there, benefits, and if they want to go further with it they will you know that you can't force anything on anyone's same thing with flat earth you can't force that on anyone you just put facts make it interesting um, involve yourself and others in discussions and try not to have a bias like just be scientific and factual you know don't don't muddy the waters with opinions, because I hate that. People having opinions on things, claiming it as facts or or whatever. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of resistance towards veganism, and there's just so many benefits. Like, like flat earth, the benefit is you're on the, the path to truth and, and knowledge, and... Uh, it's a like it's a knowledge based benefit basically like you're you start to understand a lot a lot more aspects of a lot of different things and all that but veganism it's ethics first i mean i don't care why people decide to go vegan for health for ethics for you know any of the reasons above but 
there's so many benefits and I was a little bit resistant. I didn't ever talk crap. I kind of like held it on a pedestal. Like I kind of was envious, like, oh, I want to do that. And I never really did it. Um, it's scary changing. Flat earth is changing everything you know by having to realize everything you were taught in school is wrong. Veganism is having to realize your entire diet is wrong. And you need to change what you eat. There's similarities there. So why can't people understand veganism? I don't know. It meets an addiction, you know. There's no such thing as humane murder. If you're murdering another being, enslaving, raping, and torturing another being... That's wrong. Period. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of health benefits. Energy. You have more energy and chi inside you. Because you're not quelling that with death and rotting flesh. Uh, you're more vibrant. I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I just can't wait to, to drink my you know, vegan protein smoothie and and start my day. And I don't really dread my day, no matter what can, what it consists of. Um, you're cleansing out. Like right now, I'm still cleansing out. It takes a while. It takes a long while till you're fully cleansed out. So your whole body is made up of what you eat. So it takes, I think it's, they say, seven years for your whole body to regenerate, like all your organs and, and everything. So, yeah. Cleansing. Your, they came out with the study. Um, vegetarian, vegan blood is eight times more effective against cancer. Tell me, who, who wouldn't enjoy that benefit? To be more resistant to a deadly, fatal disease that kills lots of people. Hmm. I don't know. Because it's an addiction. And it's the most socially acceptable sin on earth, so. Hey, man. Animals are going to die anyway. I'm going to eat them. No. It doesn't work like that. Is that that's like saying it's like being in Germany and during World War Two and being like, oh well, the Jews are dying anyway. I might as well murder more. Now, I'm using that example loosely because I don't believe the Holocaust happened the way they said it happened. I'm not going to go into it in this video. Maybe another video, but anyways, you have better brain functioning <clears throat> as a vegan. And for me personally, and I hear a lot of people say, you feel more connected to animals. And I, I really always felt, you know, really close. I'm, a, I'm an empath, so I've always felt really close to all beings. But the dropping all the meat and animal products really, really improve. You feel, you feel that, that strong connection more so. And you... I don't know how to put it, you're less guilty, I guess you could say. I don't know if that's the right term. I want want to really interject there, but you just feel more free inside. You're like, oh, yeah, I don't hurt any animals, so I can truly love the animals that I come in contact with. And uh, if, if you guys are interested in it, check out um, Philosophical vegetarianism and neoplatonism platonism um that's interesting um, our ancestors you know people have this preconceived notions of our ancestors were hunter gatherers with spears and just killing every animal they see and just eating it it wasn't like that um science now is coming to prove a vast majority of our ancestors were vegetarians. Yeah. 
and it makes sense. I've it's kind of always been like that in my mind. I've never pictured people wanting to kill just you know for food when there's plenty of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, lentils, etc., and so on. And if you're revolutionary and you believe in revolution veganism is revolutionary it is a revolution if you're going against the system go vegan you're going against the system by just choosing different stuff to eat you know it's it's amazing and uh really got to boycott rape and mur murder for all beings to get cow's milk and to get chicken eggs, they rape them. Literally. How is that any different than a, another human raping another human? It's not different. Same thing. Ethics, morals, things you can't have when you do nasty things like that. You know, and it's, it's not for everyone. I mean, it is for everyone. Those are naturally supposed to be like that, but some people aren't ready to be unplugged like that Matrix meme. You see, they're so helplessly dependent on the system, they'll fight to protect it, and they're not ready to be unplugged. It's a good way to put it, you know. That's that's the reason why I'm not like really militant about it. Um, Cause when someone's not ready, they're not ready. You know, same thing with flat Earth. I mean, I feel like people are becoming a lot more ready for it, and it's gonna happen whether you like it or not. Both of them, flat Earth and veganism, is gonna happen, whether you like it or not might take a while in some aspects but it's gonna happen believe that believe that all right i had a bunch more stuff to say but i guess i'll leave it at that remember love and peace for everyone all beings. Yep. Mm-hmm. I can hear you. I hear what you said. And it's okay. If you didn't like my video. I still... Still accept you. I'll still talk with you. I'll still invite you over for some nice vegan food. Until the meantime, keep searching for truth, looking for answers, changing your ways in positive directions, and peace, love, unity, and respect, bro. Out.